John joins us in San Diego, California. John, welcome to The Ramsey Show. Hey, thanks you guys for having me today. Honored to speak with you and your listeners. Thank you. How can we help? Yeah, so just a question for you guys. My fiance and I are getting married uh, in August. Cool. Congrats. And we've been drafting up a, thank you guys. Yeah, we've been drafting up a kind of a plan to combine our finances once you get married. And obviously we'll do our day-to-day checking account, but beyond that, you know, I was curious what what you guys teach. I was looking for a video that Dave was talking about this and couldn't find one. Um, how many other bank accounts should you, we have open or do you recommend that we have open to just kind of manage our financial goals and go up the baby steps? I'm just curious to get your thoughts. First of all, John, you are a stud. The fact that you're trying to map out a plan for this already, <laughs> I mean, I feel like this marriage is already off uh, to a good start, John. Well, you know, nerds attract. I think we both are into, into numbers and math, and we're both very excited to do this. And you're both on board with the Ramsey plan? Yes. Yes, we are. Yeah. They're going to be unstoppable. All right, John, so I'm going to tell you what I did in my marriage, okay? Okay, great. The first time. Uh, same marriage. What I, was I did gonna the first say, time. Clarify, John. Clarify. And then after we were married for a while, I'll tell you what, what happens now. Okay. Uh huh. When <laughs> we first got married, let's be honest. I was a genius, and by genius, I mean I was an idiot. And okay. I had an account for savings. I went to one bank, then I went to another bank for our checking account where our paychecks were deposited. I had another bank for like a side hustle account. I I ended up with bank accounts everywhere. And I thought what I was doing was making things very simple and cut and dry. I would always know where this was and that was. And there never what I made was a huge mess. A giant right. idiotic mess. And so now we have one account, a one central account and in it we have sub accounts there. One might be a savings account, one as our emergency fund, one is a lagging fund because of the way we get paid here at, at Ramsey Solutions. So I will dump money into that one and hold it so I can pay some my continue to pay my house off and things like that. But I create we create sub accounts and then if we want to have a sinking fund to save up for a car, we created another one and dump money into that one. So it's all stays in the same place. We can see it with the same account. It goes on the same every dollar app. We don't have to deal with fifty different banks. That's my recommendation. Yeah. That's a good word there. And I'll tell you what I do, John. I keep our emergency fund in a separate online high-yield savings account. And then we do all of our other banking with a local brick and mortar uh, here in town. And we have a checking account, and then we have our savings accounts. And like John said, you can have multiple. We have one for sinking right. funds. We have one for vacation. We have one for the car upgrade fund. And that doesn't complicate things, but what it does when it's in one account, it helps you separate what's for what. Right. Because you have one giant savings account, and you go, well, how much of this is for the car, and how much of this is for emergencies, and what's for vacations? Right. And so you can make as many as accounts as you want. But like John did, don't overcomplicate it. If you yeah. have 15 accounts, it may get a little hairy. <laughs> so I, was go I yeah. would say have as few as possible while still accomplishing your goals. Yeah, because, you know, with all the advent of online banking, I mean, there's so many ways to check a million different banking apps. And she and I have, like, several credit union accounts that we've individually had open since we were both in college. Obviously, mm -hmm. we'll close those or add each other's names to them. But I like the idea of just streamlining it so that it's all in one place. And does this also go for, like, obviously our Roth IRA is going to stay independent, well, you know, because it's an individual retirement account. Um, do you guys recommend that when couples get married that they have the – exact same financial advisor for both of those accounts or you know she and i obviously before we met had different um financial advisors for those so um what do you guys recommend for those kinds of accounts that have death been open match. forever that will stay individual see who does better you'll have a death match and you see which one you pick i'm just kidding yeah, <laughs> yeah hey keep just let this be as y'all start your marriage let this let the word simple distill every one of your decisions what's the simplest way we can do this right now the right. world is selling us complexity. The world is selling us you need to be doing this. If you're not doing that, you should be doing that. And why? why are you, oh, you're just. And the world is telling us individualism, which is how dare you communicate with somebody else about their financial goals? That's hers. Well, she's my wife. I don't care. That's her goals. Your goals. Simple, simple, 
simple. Um, I, yeah, I recommend having the same financial planner. I don't it's so wa- great. I, I don't want to get different advice than my wife's getting, and, and we're, gonna, we're, we're both working together towards the same financial goal. Right? And I want you in the room at the same time talking to that person right? so that you both have the same language and understanding versus, well, my financial advisor told me to do this. They well, told you told me to do that. So I would keep it simple, like John's saying, stick to that checking account, a savings account, and if you want to keep it separate, because that makes me not touch the cookie jar when it's over here in this online account, yeah. uh, I like that. And you sometimes will get a higher interest. Right now, I'm at like 1%, which is amazing Hey-o. in the world of a savings account. <laughs> I'm crushing the game. Uh, but again, it's not there to make you money. It's there to protect you.